My name is Beth Tuttle and I'm with Georgia Women's Fly Fishers here at the FFF Southeastern Conclave. And I teach intro to fly tying for people who are trying to figure out if they want to tie flies. And I pretty much find flies that are easy to tie, that are for the fish more than for the fishermen. So what I'm going to tie today is a fly that I stole from somebody uh, today. It caught me some bass and bluegill yesterday afternoon on Unicoi Lake. And it's just a little nymph. So here we go. So what I'm going to do first is like any uh, good fly tire, I debarbed my hook already. It's debarbed, not for the fish, but for me, so I don't stick myself. And I'm going to go ahead and start my thread. You'll lay down a good thread base. And then what I'm going to do, so this little brim book bug will um, sink well, I'm going to apply lead onto the hook and just spiral it around. The nice thing about lead is it'll pinch off very easily when you're done. So the first thing that I'm going to apply to the thread is, uh, to the hook, is a little yellow ultra chenille and it's going to give the fly a yellow butt. And what I learned the other day was that as long as a fly has a little chenille and rubber legs, it's going to catch a bluegill. So I'm going to just make a butt. And then I found in my fly box all kinds of little goodies, and I found this little peacock chenille. And I'm going to tie it in here, even though I'm not going to bring it forward yet. Hang it off the back. You get sheets of rubber legs, and they come in probably about 16 leg sheets. Uh, I cut mine into pairs so that they're easy to work with. Apply that to the top in the middle of the hook and later on we'll work on separating those and um, positioning them. Pull my thread back to the hook eye and then take the chenille and make the body. Then I'm just going to tie that down. and then tie the final knot with finish it. An easy way to go ahead and separate the legs is to hold it with one hand and to pop it with the other hand and eventually the little legs will separate and then you can position them where you want on the fly. And don't tell anybody. I hope to catch some fish tonight on this.